Executive Scorecard allows you to calculate metrics and KPIs and present those results in a unified dashboard. In this movie, you will see how to configure the entire end-to-end -end flow, from how to import data from an HP product, how to calculate a KPI, and finally, how to present those results in a dashboard. We will then see how to import data from a custom spreadsheet as well. Let's start with collecting data from Service Manager. The first step in connecting a source to Executive Scorecard is to activate its data source. Only after a data source is activated can you run the ETL process that will load the data from that source into Executive Scorecard. To activate a data source, open the Admin tab and click on the Data Source Management menu item. Click on Add Data Source, and in the Data Source list, select Service Manager. Enter the various source details such as the instance name, the relevant version, and the username and password to connect with. Complete the process and the data source will be activated. This process will verify the configuration and then finalize the connection between Executive Scorecard and the data source. Once a data source is configured, the next step will be to run the actual ETL process. Select ABC Management in the Admin tab. Select Upstream and run the stream by clicking on the Load a New Batch button. Once all levels successfully complete, the Service Manager data is in the system and the KPI is ready to be calculated. Now we can select and modify a KPI in the Studio and have it calculated. Enter the Studio tab and extend the KPI Library pane. Search for a desired KPI. and drag it to the Active pane. Click on the Test KPI button to check if the KPI contains any results for the current period. To modify a KPI's thresholds, open the Configuration Details tab. If you want to modify the KPI's formula as well, select the Calculation Details tab. Open the Formula Builder and modify according to your needs. When you are done, save your changes and run Test KPI again to make sure the result meets your expectations. Executive Scorecard calculates all KPI results every day. Since we don't want to wait until the engine runs later at its scheduled time, we can force a calculation now for the current period by selecting Calculate Now. If you wish the engine to calculate all historical data of the KPI as well, select Recalculate. Select the context for calculation, in our case, incident management. Select the recalculation start date, check the statement, and click calculate. Once the KPI calculation completes, you can use the Explorer to view a KPI. Select the Explorer tab and look for the KPI you just created. Select it and view its results in the Explorer details tab. The final step is to add the KPI to a dashboard. Let's create a new dashboard page. Close all open dialogues and select the Create New Page icon. First, split up the page to create the desired layout. Let's add two components to this page to present the same KPI in different ways. Click Add Component and drag to the page both the KPI view and the Historical View components. Now, let's configure the components with our KPI. In the KPI View component, click on the Configure Component button. Select the KPI from the Active pane, move it to the Selected KPIs pane, and click OK. The result in the thresholds of the KPI are now shown. Executive Scorecard contains out-of-the-box wiring between components. So, if you click on the KPI name in the KPI View, the KPI's historical data will automatically appear in the Historical View component. You must save the page as well. In addition to the out-of-the-box integrations with HP products, Executive Scorecard can import data from custom CSV files and use that data for KPIs and metrics as well. 
First, we will need to upload a file and define the new data model. Open the Admin tab. Select Context Management and click on the Launch Context Designer button. Select Create a new context. Enter name for the context and click Open Repository. Click the Add Table button to open the CSV import wizard. Follow the instructions to upload a CSV file, set a table name, and upload the file. Once the import is completed, the new table will appear under the External Table section in the repository. To support a richer model, you may have CSV files where a column in one file is a reference to a column in another file. So you can continue uploading different CSV files as needed that you will want to join together. Once you've finished uploading all the CSV files, drag the tables you created to the design area. To link two tables together, drag an attribute from one table to the related attribute in the second table that contains the data that can be joined. When the structure of the context is ready, drag the tables to the Entities pane. Here, you can change the entities' names, remove irrelevant attributes, and set additional configurations. Don't forget to run validation before saving the new context. Go back to the Admin tab and refresh the list of contexts. Check that the new context appears. Now, after creating a context, you can create a new KPI using the Enhanced Data Model. Go to the Studio and create a new KPI in the Active KPI pane. Configure the KPI's name and thresholds, and change the business context to the one you just created. Open the Calculation Details tab and then open the Formula Builder. Create the formula you wish to use to calculate the KPI. Validate the KPI and press Save. You can test the KPI to check if the results meet your expectations. Once the KPI configuration is done, calculate the KPI and present it in the relevant dashboard page. We have now seen what it takes to set up a full data flow process in Executive Scorecard, from how to import data from a source, continuing with calculating KPIs on that data, and finally how to present those KPIs in a dashboard.